Good uh, morning, my name is Matthias Hohner. I am Vice President of Commercial Activities for Apple Leisure Good AM Resorts. Matthias, thanks for joining us today. Um, we'd love to kind of hear a little bit about sort of uh, you know, where you're seeing the market um, on the back of kind of the last uh, two and a half years or so. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we are seeing that the market is recovering. Uh, we see high demand uh, for the Caribbean. Uh, we see high demand for Jamaica in specific. I think uh, that Allen recovered very quickly. It has very good marketing. Uh, people know what they're looking for. Uh, not only sand and sun, they also want to experience the culture, venture out a little bit, uh, learn about the culinary arts of a destination like Jamaica, but also other destinations like Curaçao. We see that in St. Lucia specifically that has to offer a lot and also San Martin. So that is what we see that a lot of pent up demand and people are looking forward to get out of their four walls and go out and explore the world. And that's really interesting about that sort of the stronger kind of desire for more experiential things. Mm -hmm. What about um, length of stay? What about sort of what emerging markets are you seeing? Mm -hmm. Well, length of stay has increased. People um, do a lot of uh, staycations now. They uh, work and uh, a balance that was their uh, leisure time. Uh, people take advantage, take their families. I think uh, there's demand for bigger rooms that allow you to uh, enjoy your vacation but at the same time work. Um, what do we see in trends regards to uh, lengths of stay? Again, it's a little bit longer and the combination, as I mentioned, of vacation time and work time. And you, what about sort of uh, modes of transportation? Uh, uh, what are the challenges there? Air, cruise, mm -hmm. what shifts are we seeing there? Well, what we see uh, in the destinations where we have hotels, uh, such as Costa Rica and Panama, that we see a lot of local market. So obviously that market likes to travel by car, uh, public transportation, buses as well, but mainly private uh, vehicles. So we see an increase there from the local market. People travel up to five, six hours to get to our resorts. Air travel has become very expensive, also complicated, especially what we've seen uh, in the summer with uh, airports having many delays. So people are also looking domestically uh, to plan a vacation and enjoy the time. And give us a bit of a, a vision through your crystal ball. What is the what is the sort of next sort of six, nine, twelve months kind of look like in your in your in your opinion? In my opinion, I think we're going to see uh, continuous trend, especially this winter. We know that the Canadian market uh, last winter was not trading as much, so I th think we're going to see a lot of uh, pent up demand, especially from the Canadian market there. Uh, we have been observing, obviously, the exchange rate between the US dollar and the euro. So I think that's something we're a little bit concerned about because, yeah, with the new exchange rate, uh, South America dollarized countries are becoming 18 to 20 percent more expensive than just a year ago. So that is a concern. On the other side, I think there will be a lot of people from the Americas traveling to Europe, taking advantage of that. But yeah, that's what we're seeing a little bit. Canada, exchange rate, um, pent up demand from those markets that were not able to travel last year winter season. Matthias, thanks for sharing us your insights. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.